Hello guys, alright, so today we're making a video on how to get the indulgences of Anubis, which is how you respawn bosses. So this is what they look like right here. These little scroll things. What a great description, alright? But, all you would have to do if you have them, is press the button, and the nearest boss will respawn. So I have an executioner on this island. So that boss respawned. But the way to get them is you have to go to your altered transportation and go to a hell biome. Now, this hell biome, I already have him unlocked. So I'm gonna go to this one. But if you do not have him unlocked, you have to kill three stone golems in the hell biome. Uh, they spawn on the surface. They're just on the surface. I, I can probably show you what one of them looks like. Um, just so you know. You have to kill three of them, and then you can go up to the top of the thing with the chains. So, he spawns, uh, up there. My render distance is low, so you can't really see it, but he spawns up there. And if there's a giant thing circling around it, this like, looks like a kind of like a, a wall almost. That means you haven't killed three, um, stone rock columns yet. Let me try to find a storm rock golem really quick so that I can show you guys so you have an idea of what you have to fight to be able to get up to Sin Anubis in the first place. Do do do. Let's see. Let's see. There one, there's one right there. There is a rock, or that's what they will look like when they're on the ground. There's a 50-50 chance of them, there you go, turning into a rock golem. Once they do, you know, you just put them down. But, that's not the point of this video. Well, that is kind of the point of this video, but yeah, you just have to kill three of those guys, and then you have to get up there. Now, here's my strat for getting up there. It, you could, actually, no, you can't ride a helicopter, I don't think. What I do is, obviously I have an absurd absurd amount of stamina. Most people don't have this much, this much stamina. Uh, you can get this much stamina with stamina food pretty easily, but. All right, so I would go on to the thing. You can go, you can start down there or whatever. You just have to start walking. And I recommend Griffin Wings for this because Griffin Wings are easier. Um, I have a video on Griffin Wings if you want to go check that out. But griffin wings are easier to get up with, uh, but anywhere. If you have a normal stone glider, you can see what I did there. You can still build uh, at a certain height. Not all the way at the top though, there's a there's an anti-build thing, there's a certain limit. But you can build back up there, and then you can start climbing. Um, let me just speed this up. So I, I, have, I have the wings to do it. But once you start being able not to climb, yeah, you're gonna wanna put down a floor. Like I put down this floor, but I put a floor down there as well. You're gonna want to put down a floor, and just to regain your stamina. Now, once you regain your stamina, you want to climb on the side of the thing, because if you climb on the, on here, it's not gonna. It's like it's kind of weird, right? Well, this is not kind of weird for me actually anymore. I think they fixed it, but I climb on the side. Yeah, there you go. It's weird. I climb on the side for like the guaranteed thing and then I get up here is an Anubis um, if you kill the three stone rock golems there will be no wall and there's two versions of sin Anubis one of them is on level 7 hell islands and he will drop sin potions as well oh these sin potions he will drop think I think this one but or this one he will draw this one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and you have to upgrade that, but I'll make a whole another video on that later. For now, we're going to focus us on the, indul the focus on the indulgences. Now, whatever level he is, is how many indulgences he will drop. See, he's level 29, he will drop 29 levels. You have to talk to him first, but I'm just going to get some food ready. Gotta go buy more sushi. Um, you have to talk to him first. His level depends on how many Anubises or Sin Anubises you have killed. So don't have an Anubis farm. 
once you talk to him, he will do a little monologue. And once he's in that position, you can start fighting him. Now, he's kind of difficult uh, to at least people that are not me. Uh, or to people that don't have, like, super good things, uh, builds. But, if you have a magic build with a frost wall, just like how you did it with uh, elephant farms. Level 1, level 2, level 3, Anubis should be literally no problem at all. I'm gonna help laser him, I think. Cause, oh, wait. That attack right there, when it's single target locks onto you, you want to be dodge rolling a bunch. Because that attack will kill you unless you have grit. If you don't have grit, that attack won't kill you. Or if you do have grit, that attack will kill, won't kill you. But if you don't have grit, you're going to die. I'll, I'll let's demonstrate you guys. Okay, well that only did that much damage because he's low level. But, just dodge that attack. Uh, I guess I'll just kill him now. There's really no, no benefit in me not killing him right now. Dodge rolling is really important when you're in this boss fight. It's like one of the most important things in this whole boss fight. There we go. Okay. I am dying. Oh, he's kind of annoying just with most of his attacks being... You know, AoE and stuff like that, but. Eventually, you'll kill him. Those things also do a lot of damage. Oh, don't fall off the map. Where'd he go? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's not that hard, at least at the earlier levels. But eventually he does get annoying, so. Just wanna kill him. I have no mana. I don't know, campfires either. Uh. Okay, I'll just stick to Frostmine. His attacks are just annoying to deal with. Once you kill him, if we wait for the ice, he will drop, he has a, a chance of dropping uh, magical stones, but as you can see right here, he drops the indulgences of Anubis, a little paper thing, and he drops his moving statue with uh, his level, but that's not what we're here for, we're here for the indulgences of Anubis, and then the way you use them, obviously, as I said, you just take them and put him here and if you press the button whatever boss closest to you uh that died will respawn um yeah so now i have level 30 uh Sinanubis, which i'm not gonna fight this because I, I only made this video but yeah, that's how you do it um if you have any questions in the comments let me know and uh have a nice day